look at this. One, two, three, four videos scheduled. 24th, 25th, 26th, and 27th. We have those days fucking covered, except that I have to re-export the YouTube RSS finale, um, which I will do now, uh, because... Wait, am I already re-exporting it? No, I'm not. Okay. I had to re-export the YouTube RSS finale because I made a fucking mistake in the editing and I need to re-render it. But other than that, that is four videos down. I just need to fix that, fix the file, like upload the, the, the fixed version. But other than that, that's four videos. Knock the fuck out. I throw them out like a one-two punch, like I'm throwing left hooks, you know? You know what I'm saying? I'm a beast. I'm a machine. I'm the inhuman content nightmare. I'm pumping them out. I'm pumping them out. Just when I thought I was out, they pull me back in. <laughs> I've managed to find a way to get an XML file of all of my fucking YouTube subscriptions. It's But as you can see, they're all on one fucking line. They're all on one line. And uh, it's shit, right? It's shit right now. But... But here's the thing. Uh, this doesn't work, by the way. That's the first thing. Doesn't work in my RSS reader. But I could use another Vim bind to get all the channel URLs. And hopefully, because this should be loaded directly from my YouTube subscriptions page, this should contain every URL. So all I have to do is clean up this file with a Vim bind with a Vim macro. And it should be doable. Uh, so let's see. Now, I don't want to get excited, but it might. The first thing that's nice is that they're already formatted in the XML. So all I have to do really is add, you know, delete all the junk. The thing about Sketchbook for colors, firstly, let me just say this easy top 20. I haven't finished it. It's already got a place in my top 20 with no questions about it. Easy. Easiest top 20 I've ever given in my life. No consideration. Maybe top 10. I haven't decided yet. But easy top 20. Easiest of my life. But the thing about it is that when I watch one or two episodes of, of Sketchbook Full Colors, that's my Moe quota just met for the week. It's like a lion. You know how a lion, like, eats, like, once a week? They, they like, go on a hunt and kill a gazelle. And then they just, like, eat a whole gazelle and then they don't eat for, like, a week. Because they've just, you know, they eat, they ate so much. They just don't need to eat for, like, a week after that. I think that's true. I, <laughs> I don't know where I'm getting that information from. I probably saw it at a nature show when I was a kid. But you know how that works, if that's how that works? Like, watching an episode of Sketchbook Full Colors is just, like... It fills up my Moe gauge, and, like, I have no need for anything else. I'm going to be very sad when I finish this show. Maybe not, but it takes a long... The thing is, it takes a long time to watch, because it's so calming and slow-paced and Moe that it's like, you really can't marathon a show like this. Like, you have to watch it in in drips, in, in small doses, or you'll overdose. It'll be too powerful. To fully enjoy it, you have to, like, watch it slowly and pace yourself. Um, but the thing is that once I watched this, an episode of, like, I was trying to figure out, like, how come I haven't been reading No Game, No Life? Like, how come I just stopped after the third volume? And how come I stopped playing my visual novels? And how come I stopped, you know, uh, what else was I doing? Watching some other anime. Oh, I was stopped watching that because I finished it. Never mind. But how come I stopped reading my visual novels and um, reading No Game, No Life? Is it just because I got lazy and wanted to stop reading? Well, no. It's because all of my all of my gauge is filled by this person. You filled my you fulfilled all my needs, and it lasts for like at least three days before I need another dose. You know, it's a very effective medicine. And so once I'm filled, once my meter is back up, you know, I'm I, like a, like a, you know, it takes a while to run back down. And so I have like three days of productive work before I need to re-up, before I need to refuel on Moe. And uh, it's a very effective fuel. It's like a very high quality fuel that you don't need very often. It's a very potent medicine. We're using two different metaphors here and then neither of them are really working. 
but yeah, that's that's I think why I we're currently refreshing everything, but this might I might have done it. I might have actually done it. I might have absolutely actually done it. Maybe. Because I checked and it this actually does did not contain duplicates and it has 747 lines and it's just... I think I've done it. Who knew it would be this simple? All I had to do was load the entire page of my subscriptions and... Well, I found a tool that would let me export that as an XML file. Then all I had to do was spend two minutes cleaning up the file to have just the channel URLs. That If it was this simple, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> but I'm not even going to be pissed because it, if it works, I'm just going to be happy. But after all this hassle... I just had to ignore the Google... Like, I just assumed that the Google takeout thing would work, but of course it didn't work because it's a piece of shit. But if this works, I never have to worry about Google takeout ever again. And then I can finally have a working RSS feed of my YouTube subscriptions. And then I can fucking, you know, I don't know what. <laughs> oh, look, it's working. It's actually loading the channel names. Everything's working. Everything's working. Has a lot of shit to load. Which is a good sign. Even though it's a bit annoying. But it's a good sign. <sighs> this is a very exciting moment. Guys, this is a very exciting moment. Just waiting for this to happen, I guess. And it's done. Okay, I just need to add a couple more things to my, like, config and stuff, and then it should be... Pretty fucking sure this has worked. I am fucking, as Mumbo Jumbo would say, chuffed to bits. Oh, wait, there's a slight problem. Ah, uh, okay. Wait, no. Boom, got, yeah, look. It's missing two things. Why is it missing these two things? Fuck. It's missing two videos. Why? Guys. Guys, 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 guys. This has been a group effort. Let's make sure this is very clear between myself, uh, Lemonaze, I don't know what their name is on YouTube, but Lemonaze, um, Install Gentoo on YouTube, and uh, um, what's their name on YouTube? Uh, Michael, Michael from the comments. It's been a, a group effort between us three and, you know, various online documentation. But it seems like it's working. The two channels that weren't showing up again, I just did a refresh all, and now they're showing up, which is Noko's channel from Shinsei Kamatsu chan and this one, Chad A. Haag, Peak Oil Philosophy, who uh, does videos explaining the Unabomber. And it seems to be fucking working. I can't... I mean, I should test if... Hold on, what if, what if the... What? Okay, but that's not right. Why is it backwards? Oh. Why is that? That's a weird... That's such a weird way for Newsboat to work. So on this page... Oh, sorry. On this page, on the page that just lists all of your feeds, G is to, sh to sort, right? And then L for latest, or last updated. So GL will sort it by last updated. But when you're in a feed, G is to sort still. But L is now link. And date is D. Date is last updated. Why isn't it the same across the whole program? Why is it L on one? Th That's weird. But let's test this out. 
Oh, my 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 com my keybind is working. And there we go. A massive cyber attack has resulted in the false personal information of over four point five million Air India passengers being leaked. Wow! Thanks, Mental Outlaw. Guys, I'm pretty sure this is it. I'm pretty fucking sure this is it. I don't see how this can be not working. I genuinely don't see how this can be not working. This, like, this is, this is it. This is fucking it. This is it. It's done. It's done. I can't believe it. And in typical style, I've already watched my entire harvest for today. So I have nothing to watch. I mean, I guess I could watch the new Simple Clips stream. Uh, oops, I meant to open it in MPV. I already have this open in MPV on another tab. It's over here. So thank you to everyone who helped me out. I feel like a god. And thank you to thank you to Vim. Thank you to Vim because I have no knowledge of scripting. Like I'm sure you could do these things very easily with a script, like a bash script. Um to organize files is probably like a much better way to do things. But I have no knowledge of how to do these things. But I do know how to use Vim. So thank you for thank you Vi for having um, <laughs> macros because that's like a script but you don't have to know anything except key, key binds oh my god so is this working is this a thing now is this a thing now wow wow I found this is all because I found a tool ages ago and I just it didn't work immediately so I thought it was broken but then, after learning more stuff about how how to do it, how Newsboat works and all this this stuff, after learning more about that, now I can use the same tool that I thought wouldn't work, in a completely different way. Because I what happened is I exported it as an M it, the tool produces an XML file, right? I just found it in a random Reddit thread while I was doing research. It produces an XML file of your subscriptions. Now the first thing that I did wrong is I didn't have, I thought it wasn't working. Firstly, because it only had a few of the channels I'm subscribed to. Not realizing that you have to have your ent the entire page loaded for it to... So you have to scroll all the way down to the bottom and then, then it will... Once you have all of them loaded, then it will actually export every single subscription. That's the first thing I didn't realize. But even regardless of that, I tried to plug that XML file into Newsboat and it news it didn't work. Like, it, it wasn't format. It just wasn't working at all. Um, and so I just thought, oh, I guess this is, I mean, it was just a janky, like, uh, grease monkey script I found on Reddit, so I was like, there's no, I guess it's just broken, janky, whatever. Maybe YouTube's changed since then, because it was an old thread, so I thought, eh, fuck it, like, you know, I didn't really think much of it. But now, I just used the same thing, cleaned it up in Vim, pipe, put it, shoved it into the URLs fold file, and it fucking works. And that was the answer the whole time. And it was that simple. I didn't have to do anything. How is this random fucking grease monkey script I found on Reddit do the job that Google Takeout's fucking service doesn't do? How can... Oh, my... <sighs> well, that was a hassle. It was a pain. I wish this had happened, like, a few days ago. So it would have been in the... It would have been in the video called... Uh, YouTube RSS Finale... I'm about to ThinkPad thinks the ThinkPad sticker that used to be here has fallen off, it's come off, it's not there anymore. Just woke up, one o'clock in the morning. This is my new routine. Log into my computer. Open up a terminal. I should, I'll probably end up making, in fact, I could do that today. It'll take five seconds. <laughs> I have to do this with two hands. Type in newsboat. Yeah, I'd, I'm definitely making this a fucking SXHKD bind. Open newsboat. 
see, this is all from yesterday. Then I do a a, a fucking reload all. And now while that's going, because that takes ages, now I go to the toilet. That's my new routine. Now I get up and piss. I'm sure this is very interesting to you guys. I'm sure this is the most interesting thing you've ever heard. Oh, I no longer piss before I turn my computer on. I piss after I turn my computer on. Well, I'll tell you something I didn't expect, which is that my internet is dead. This is a classic move. This is a classic moment. Classic. <laughs> but, um, so I just went, when I just did that, it didn't do anything because <laughs> there was no internet connection. I'm using a hotspot on my phone now. Ah, uh, classic moment. Classic moment. For some weird reason, having my YouTube feed in this format really makes me pay attention to the channels that I don't care about. Like, when I'm on the use, I don't know why, but I've been seeing, like, oh yeah, I never watch League of Legal videos, there's no reason for me to be following him. I never watch Motherboard, I never watch, um, you know, honestly, to be, to be real with you, I pretty much never watch, uh, Review Bro videos anymore. Like, I used to keep up with them, but... I just sort of stopped because they're basically the same video every time. I know he's a, he's a cool guy and I, 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 I have nothing against him, but I just don't watch his videos very often. Uh, I'm honestly not, don't care that much about, like, I don't know, the modern world. No, I'll stay subscribed to the modern world. But Lazy KH, I barely watch. Skater Dad 420, I just sometimes watch his live streams. Uh,. I don't know, Steve 1989 MRE, like I, you know what I'm trying to say? Had an absolute retard moment where I was like, I want to back up everything to my browser. I'll use rsync, that's a useful command I know about. I'll use rsync to back everything up. Well, I want to back up the whole computer, so I'll just use the slash directory, right? You know, the root directory that's just a slash, forward slash. I'll just rsync slash to this drive. Stupid fucking idiot moment. Because you know what's in slash? You know what's in the root directory? This drive. So it was fucking recursively backing everything up. But also for some reason wasn't backing it up to the drive. But backing it up to a folder somewhere in my home directory called EXT. So I had my entire computer backed up multiple times to my computer in a folder called EXT. It was a baffling situation. Um, it was very silly. I'm now hoping it's working properly, but I don't know if it actually is working properly. And I have no way to tell if it is working. Well, I can check. Has it created EXT again? It hasn't created EXT again, so that's good. No more EXT. Um... Yeah, I assume everything's going in here somewhere, but it doesn't look like it. So I don't know where everything's going. I don't know what the fuck is going on. I, I, oh, it's created EXT again. Oh, fucking, fuck you. Do you know what? Hopefully it stops, because this is, this is just going to be my home directory, and then it will stop. No, but this is in my fucking home direct. Fucking stop, 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 stop. What do I do? How am I supposed to fucking do this? How the fuck are you supposed to do this? Fuck off, go... Delete. Go away. Move to wastebasket. Fuck you. Empty wastebasket. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. How the fuck are you supposed to back up a fucking... Do I have to use fucking... How the fuck do you back it up? Why is it not just a fucking simple tool? I've looked online. All the tools are like really fucking stupid. I mean, I could just fucking copy paste shit. I could just copy paste everything in my fucking home direct. You know what? That's what I'm going to fucking do. It's what I'm going to fucking do. I'm going, I'm going straight to fucking home slash, I'm going straight to home, I'm going straight to, what are you fucking doing, fucking stupid piece of shit, fucking home, we're just going to copy this, we're just going to copy this, we're going to paste it in here, okay, there's no way this can go, oh, now it's not even letting me fucking do anything right now, is it, is this empty, why is my computer being so fucking shit, Paste. Work now, maybe, please. It's so hot. Why is everything so hot in my fucking life? Is it working? 
I don't know if it's working. Is my fucking disc full? Because I've... Like, what is happening? Why is my rap... See, I don't... Ugh, what the fuck? I had... Oh, man. Uh, error, 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 error. Everything's errors. How the fuck do you do this? Why isn't there just a button? You know what it is? This is the one place where Mac is better. Do you know what I do on Mac? I press this button. I just press this button. I just press back up now. And it fucking backs it up perfectly. Right? Nice. It works nicely. I don't have to fuck around. Like, normally I'm like, oh yeah, I love command line utilities. But none of them are actually built to do this. They're all built to do other shit. And, you, it, like, getting them to do backups is like a hack. It's like a weird hacky thing to do with them. But they're not really meant to do backups. Like, why not... Why do they not just have a... Why is there not a universally known program that is designed to do iterative backups on fucking Linux? That should be a basic thing, right? Surely that should be a basic fucking thing. I, like... Am I crazy here? 